Hey folks, uh, I'm going to start a new series here called What Do You Think? I'll be looking for your comments, your video responses would be much more greatly appreciated. Um, here in New Hampshire we had a bill, it was uh, yeah, SB 88 I believe, yes SB 88, Senate Bill 88. And what it was, was uh, it was an extension of uh, self-defense. And it passed overwhelmingly. I'll give you the statistics when I read the article. And, uh, but the governor vetoed it. Tell me what you think about this now. Lawmen take on Senate bill on self-defense. Deadly force. Gun owners have rights. Bill supporters say. Police Chief David J. Mara led the governor and top state law officers in a Stations of the Cross tour of urban violence <coughs> to illustrate their claim that efforts to change the state's self-defense law would imperil citizens while protecting gangsters and thugs. Mara stopped off and along the four block stretch of uh, Wilson Street to point out scenes of recent gunplay, including two since 2006 where people were shot to death in the street, to drive home his belief that crowded neighborhoods and legislation that would expand the justifiable use of deadly force don't mix. It is a vibrant neighborhood, but unfortunately there has been a lot of gun violence around here and we don't want to add to it. Uh, Mara said of uh, Senate Bill 88. Now they can't just start shooting. This bill allows them to just start shooting and that's what I'm afraid of, added Mara, who is, who is supported by Manchester Mayor Ted Gastis, a Republican. House Speaker William O'Brien said SB 88 ensures lawful gun owners can defend themselves when they are threatened. We can look at the recent riots in England as evidence of what happens when citizens' right to own and carry firearms is infringed upon, the Mount Vernon Republican said in a statement. The Senate is set to vote to override uh, Governor John Lynch's veto of SB 88 on September 7th. That would be a nice happy birthday present for me. The Senate bill passed the House by a vote of uh, oh yeah, 283 to 89, and the Senate by 19 to 5, both above the two-thirds majority required for an override. Under existing law, a citizen is justified in using deadly force to defend oneself or another in their home. Is existing law also allows citizens to use deadly force in any location against someone who is about to use unlawful deadly force against them or others or about to commit a kidnapping or sexual assault providing they cannot retreat from an assailant with complete safety. SB 88 would bar attackers from filing civil suit against those who use deadly force to protect themselves and it would strike the minimum mandatory sentencing requirement for felony convictions involving firearms and change the definition of non-deadly force to mean the act of producing or displaying a weapon, like Ward Byrd. If the legislature overrides the governor's veto, New Hampshire would join 31 states with similar laws. It is an anti-law enforcement bill and it helps gangs. Lynch said of the bill. He and law enforcers claim it would increase the potential for deadly encounters in public places such as street corners, shopping malls, parks, and retail stores, yet make it harder to prosecute criminals. <laughs> Standing with the governor Monday were state, county, and city police officers. Across the street, two to three hecklers used uh, bullhorn to express their support for the bill. This bill is going to compromise public safety in Manchester and across the state. We will be providing drug dealers, 
and street gangsters with a new right uh, to respond to violence with more violence, State Attorney General Michael A. Delaney said, but the bill's supporters were not swayed. State Senator David Boughton said the bill would extend a citizen's right to use deadly force and self-defense beyond the confines of the home. We think law-abiding citizens ought to have a right to defend themselves wherever they have a legal right to be, said Boughton, a uh, Republican hooks at uh, one of the bill's prime sponsors. To date, he said the Senate has the votes to override the governor's veto. Senate President uh, Peter Bragdon, uh, Republican Milford, did not return a call for comment. Delaney said Florida average, averaged 34 adjustable homicides from 2000 to 2005. After Florida passed a similar law in 2005, the rate tripled from 2005 to 2009, he said. You tell me what you think. I'll post a response probably Sunday. Peace out.